this is the fourth time you've been brought before this bench. And though it is my earnest wish to temper justice with mercy, your persistent dedication to life of crime is such an abomination before God and man that I have no alternative but to hang you from the neck until you are dead. Court adjourned. It is perhaps remiss of me to close the court so early, but I fear the stench of those miserable wretches at the bar would be so offensive to my nostrils that my eagerness for fresher air might well impair the soundness of my judgment. Well, sir, the adjournment is quite fortunate for me, sir. For it's today we celebrate my sweet little Annie's birthday, and to have a jolly back home so soon, just to hug and to kiss her, will be a crowning joy on such a happy day. Oh, it is a happy moment for me, too. Walk home with me, for I have news for you. In order to shield her from the evils of this world, I have decided to marry Joanna next Monday. Ah, oh, sir! Happy news indeed! Strange. When I offered myself to her, she showed a certain reluctance. <laughs> That's natural in a young girl. Now that she's had time for reflection, I'm sure she'll greet my proposal with a more sensible frame of mind. <laughs> 